END here. Ravnica Remastered on paper should contain the best cards from the original Ravnica block, the return to Ravnica block, the guilds of Ravnica block and any commander product cards that are set on Ravnica. But to be frank with you, it doesn't feel like that. Yes, it features another reprint of the Shocklands, but it doesn't feel that the best and most valuable cards from the three Ravnica blocks and any Ravnica based commander cards are included in this third remaster set. I'm going to mention you just two cards, two very important and nowadays becoming staple commander cards, doubling season and smothering tide. Doubling season was first released in the original Ravnica City of Guilds, very old card. Here we are talking September 2005 and became extremely popular thanks to the commander format. On the other hand, Smothering Tide is quite young compared to Doubling Season, released in January 2019 in Ravnica and Legions and also here it became extremely popular thanks to commander. Considering the importance and value of both cards, plus they were released in a Ravnica related set, everyone was expecting these two juggernauts to be reprinted and featured in Ravnica Remastered. Honestly, couldn't imagine a set like this not to feature these two commander staple cards. But no, they weren't included to the surprise of the majority. But why? Doubling Season and Smothering Tide weren't included and reprinted in Ravnica Remastered. The answer is easy. This year, 2023, both Doubling Season and Smothering Tide were already reprinted two times. Five months ago in Commander Masters and reprinted again just four months ago in Wilds of Eldraine and Chanting Tales. The result of this was a bloodbath to whom bought these cards at 90 and 50 dollars respectively in the beginning of the year because now you can buy them at half that value. And this is why Doubling Season and Smothering Tide weren't reprinted again and again and again in Ravnica Remastered. I believe a third reprint in just 6 months of the same cards could have easily crashed the secondary market not only for these two staple cards but for the whole Magic the Gathering secondary market. Everyone would start to lose more and more confidence in what Wizards of the Coast Hasbro are doing. To conclude, I don't know how Wizards of the Coast design teams work, but surely there is some sort of miscommunication between teams. There is bad planning. I can't and I don't want to believe that reprinting the same two cards in just one month was done on purpose. Wizards of the Coast are becoming too greedy and they are releasing too much products that the market can't handle anymore. By now, everyone is aware that despite sealed products are becoming more expensive than ever, there is no so-called modern card that is value $100 or more. Leave me a comment, when do you think Wizards of the Coast will reprint these two staple cards? Because I assure you, these two cards would be definitely reprinted again. My guess, Modern Horizons 3. Subscription button is here. Subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world. I'm out.